I really love creating content and putting y'all on new thrillers because like I said, a lot of times when I freaking open any app, there are a lot of book creators and I love that for us, but majority of them are fantasy and romance. And although, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, that's just not me. So I love being a voice, especially a voice of color that reads a lot of thrillers. Yesterday, I had um, got an alert that I had got three packages delivered in my mailbox at my apartment. Like, I don't know what the freak happened, but when we went down there, my packages were not there. Y'all. Hello, my bookish friends. Welcome back to our channel. So it is Monday, y'all. It is Monday, March 4th, and I had a pretty good weekend. How was y'all's weekend? Um, so I'm on my lunch break, y'all. I am starving, so I think I'm gonna go get me some nuggets from Wendy's. I would do Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A just, I don't know, the line is crazy, but I might do Chick-fil-A. Do y'all like Chick-fil-A? Let me know. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, I think I'm either going to do Chick-fil-A or Wendy's um, because I'm starving. But hello, y'all. I haven't seen y'all in a couple days. Um, I did post a video on my main channel. So if y'all follow me over there, then you saw it. Um, <clears throat> but if you didn't, then hello. Y'all, I wanted to come and let y'all know about what I am currently reading and things of that nature. So, the last time y'all saw me, I was reading um, All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers with my book club. And I wanted to discuss it and then let y'all know what I'm reading now um, because I just started a new book yesterday. I'm only like 18 pages in and I feel like my world is about to end with this book. And shout out to my friend Kim because one thing about her, she gonna recommend the earth shattering books, okay? So, like I said, I um, read All Good People Here. I literally finished that book in like a day because that was my March book with my book club. Like I told y'all, I have a book club over on Fable, License to Thrill, and that was our book for March. Um, I was going to read it physically because, as y'all know, I got the book from um, the library, but then my Libby app came in clutch and the audio book became available on Libby. So your girl is like, okay, I don't typically listen to audio books, but I'm turning into an audio book girl, especially when I'm like driving, cleaning, um, <clears throat> doing anything like editing, whatever. I've been listening to audio books. So the audio book came available literally on March 1st and I was shook. So all good people here, <sighs> Let's, I'm going to just let y'all know, and at the end of the month, I always recap and go a little bit more in depth. How y'all day going? It's okay. I'm here. Yep. <laughs> That's the same thing I say. I'm here. Right. I'm in good health, so. Right. Yeah, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed. Have a good one. You too. Take it easy. Um, I love interactions like that. Do y'all have those pleasant interactions? Because my interactions be so pleasant um, everywhere. But anyway, so All Good People Here is about this girl. Her name is Margot. She goes back to her hometown to take care of her uncle because his wife passed and he has like some memory issues and things of that nature. Um, but prior to her... Prior to her going back to help her uncle, um, like 25 years ago, her best friend who lived across the street um, was murdered, brutally murdered. And um, it was like something that was super popular, of course, in that small town, got a lot of na national nationwide um, news covery and you know all that happened so 25 years later she's going back to her hometown to help her uncle or whatever because he has some memory issues and things of that nature so anyway she's there helping him like the first day she's there she end up finding out that another little girl um, has been found dead and she's a reporter so she goes on like this whole 
thing trying to figure out like what happened to this new girl natalie and what happened to her old best friend like what happened to them because it just wasn't adding up so she starts investigating like i said she's a reporter or whatever so she starts going around investigating trying to figure out like what happened what's going on she talking to people but as she's talking to people she's finding out stuff she's um talking to all the people in the town they're telling her what they think and things of that nature so honestly the premise of the book was really good i liked how the book was going and apparently this ashley flowers lady has like a super popular podcast or whatever and she's like that girl in the podcast podcast world and this book was like her debut so for this book to be her debut like that's really good like the book was good but i end up giving a book three out of five stars only because the ending was absolutely just like huh like i did not get the ending i did not like the ending i still have a lot of questions um and i still think about the questions i have to this day because i'm just like what happened and why did it end like that so i end up giving that book three out of five stars and again at the end of the month i always do like a monthly wrap up i don't know though i might change it to like doing quarterly wrap ups we'll just see but right now i'm doing monthly wrap ups and i say that only because in each video i kind of go more into depth about the book like i am now so do you really need to see it again like at the end of the month i don't know let me get my food thank you you too yeah solid read nonetheless uh my book club is enjoying it and that's all I could ever ask for. I love when my book clubs get involved in books and like the banter is crazy. Like if you're not a member of my book club, License to Thrill on Fable, like oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Cause the book club is booking. <laughs> we be having so much fun. I actually need to go in there right now and see what everybody is thinking. And then if you didn't know, I always gift one member of my book club the book. So for the month of um, April, I will be picking a winner to gift our April book. And in April, we are going to be reading A Flicker in the Dark. So anyway, let me bless my food. Amen. So now, y'all ever crave Wendy's? So I just got a six-piece I got a six-piece nugget and then an itty-bitty baby fry. Because typically... I don't even eat fast food like during the week on lunch but if you watch my main channel then you saw my boyfriend and i we took our yorkie to a birthday party he was invited to so we really didn't have time to meal prep or cook i don't know why they gave me a straw because i just got my water been living for this cup so anyway two more things um, so now I am currently reading and I'll put the book on the screen. Like I told y'all, I'm 18 pages in. I'm reading Next of Kin by Kia Abdullah. Abdullah. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. Y'all. I can already tell this book is about to have me in shambles. If y'all have read it, let me know if you liked it down below. But yeah, y'all let me know if you have read it. Did you like it? My friend Kim put me on. She told me what order I need to read um, Kia's books in because she has read them all. Again, she's who put me on S.A. Cosby. So I am definitely going to listen to her when it comes to book wrecks, period. But speaking of S.A. Cosby, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. Thank you. Thank you to Donise. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. I opened my door yesterday, and I had an Amazon package, and I posted the books on my community tab. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anybody that sends me books or sends me things from my Amazon wish list, I appreciate you because I really love creating content and putting y'all on new thrillers. Because like I said, a lot of times when I freaking open any app, there are a lot of book creators, and I love that for us. But majority of them are fantasy and romance. And although, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, that's just not me. So I love being a voice, especially a voice of color that reads a lot of thrillers because you don't see that often. And there are some thriller girls, but most of them are fantasy and romance. And sometimes I just be like, oh my gosh, like where's my tribe? So thank you so much, Donise. 
I'll put the pictures on the screen. She sent me over two S.A. Cosby books and I cannot be more grateful. Like that is crazy to me. And just the stuff like that just makes me keep pushing out my content. So thank you, girl. I appreciate it so much and I will be reading them soon. Y'all know I don't do TBRs, but I am trying to do like maybe um monthly hopefuls like i hope i get to this book but if i don't like don't hold me to it but anyway y'all clearly i'm starving so i'm finna eat and then i'll be back with like an update on what i'm reading or anything bookish because i think y'all are probably seeing this on wednesday so this is probably like a two-day book vlog so i'll see y'all in the next clip my bookish friends oh my goodness y'all i am so upset so first of all happy tuesday y'all it is a beautiful day i'm super blessed but yesterday i had um got an alert that i had got three packages delivered in my mailbox at my apartment my friend who sent them to me she screenshotted it she sent it to me and she was like girl your packages say delivered tell me why my boyfriend and i went down to the mail room and again it's not a mail room that's not secure it's a secure mail room with the key if you get big packages it has like the lockers for packages like it's a secure situation like i don't know what the freak happened but when we went down there my packages were not there. My packages were not there. They're not delivered. And it was books, y'all. It was three separate packages. I have all the tracking. I have everything I need. And y'all, I am so confused as to what's going on with my packages. Where are they? What happened? Like, I don't even know where to start. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give it all day today like 24 hours to see if they show up and typically we have the same mailman or mail lady that comes every day um, around five o'clock so best believe i'm going to be downstairs in my lobby waiting to see if the person who delivers today was the one from yesterday and i'm going to ask them what should i do like what do we do in these situations like i don't know do i need to call the post office like do you even get through to them? Like, I'm devastated. Like, my whole night and my whole day has been ruined because I know, first of all, I know how much book costs. I love books. The shipping along with the books, so, so, so expensive. Like, I want to cry right now. I literally want to cry. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that my books show up. By the time that y'all see this, I'll have some idea as to where the books are, but I'm just like, I'm so confused as to where they are. They say delivered and I order stuff all the time. I get packages all the time, y'all. And I literally want to cry right now. Like I get packages all the time. I got packages from Amazon yesterday. I get a package every day and my books are nowhere to be found. And I'm so confused as to where they could be. So I'm probably about to look and see if I can call like the post office and see if I can give them my tracking and kind of figure out like what happened. Were they dropped off? Do I need to go door to door? And maybe if the person who dropped them off yesterday, they'll be able to look and see like what apartment they left them at and I can go eggs. Like I really just want my books. I really just want my books. And you know, it's just, it's just such a disheartening thing. I'm so sad. So y'all cross your fingers that I do find them <sighs> because that's all I can think about. Um, that is all I can think about. I'm just not having good luck with the mail and books because I also ordered a Kindle case, the composition notebook one, and they sent me the wrong size. They sent me the six inch one <clears throat> for the Kindle Paperwhite and I have the 6.8 inch Kindle Paperwhite. So I have to return that today on my lunch, drop it back off at Whole Foods. So I'm just not having a good book day. Um, And it's like, it's really, it's affecting me. It's affecting me. So on my lunch break, I'm going to go drop this back off at um, Whole Foods. Because this is the one I got. But clearly, my Kindle is much bigger than this. So, once I drop this off, I'm just going to reorder it. But all is well. I'm healthy. I'm just, like, really feeling defeated when it comes to, like, books and packages right now. So, 
yeah but yeah if y'all have been through that let me know i'm gonna try to call the post office and kind of see what's going on today and then um after work i'll try to see if that person who was there today delivered yesterday and kind of see like what do i need to do y'all my packages came so if you saw my previous clip i literally was in the car like breaking down almost about to cry because my friends sent me some books and they said they were delivered yesterday and they were nowhere to be found so all night and all day i have been stressing out about this and if y'all can hear some kids in the background i have my patio door open so my dog can get some air and there's some kids playing but i haven't even got out of my clothes because i need to go walk my dog before i get comfortable but before i do that we're gonna unbox these books. So shout out to my sister Kayara and also my sister Kim to high school with them. Me and Kayara was like ace boom coons and Kim was like our big sister. She was like a little bit older than us and we cheered together and all that good jazz. They're still in the Bay Area, California where I grew up and um, they sent me all these books. So let's go ahead and open them. Y'all have no idea how excited I am. So let's start with the first one. So this is the first envelope. Y'all, I can't believe it's three packages. I'm just, ah, I'm forever grateful. So this is the first package they sent me. I don't even know what they are. The first book I got was Grown. So y'all know I just read this um, at the end of February. I got it from the library and um, she had a hard back cover and she sent it to me to add to my um bookshelf and i actually want to get all of tiffany d jackson as well as sa cosby's books i want to own them in paperback or hardcover so yeah this is the first book that i was gifted grown by tiffany d jackson like what <gasps> the next book that she sent over was white smoke by tiffany d jackson and this is actually on my tbr of course i have not read it i don't even really know what it's about but i hear that it's really really good so yep this is the next book um white smoke by tiffany d jackson ah so excited so these are the two books that were in the first package like such a blessing so this next package i love book mail book mail is so fun I don't want to cut any books. The next package also has two books and they're hardcover. So she's growing my hardcover um, stack. <gasps> um, this book is so near and dear to my heart. If y'all have not watched my channel before, if this is your first video, I read Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby at the, at, at the, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. I read Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby in February and fell in love with not only the book but the author. So she had it or she got it for me and she sent it to me. So thank y'all so, 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 so much. Like literally, I'm crying. Um, the next book I got, oh my gosh, is Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. Y'all already know I fell in love with White Woman Missing by Kelly Garrett. I read it, I want to say, in January as an arc, and I fell in love with her, her writing style. So um, I got Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett, and y'all, I'm gagging right now. Like, what? Me? I cannot wait to read this. I cannot wait to read this got that i think it's also two books like i'm so blessed this is crazy yep also two hardcover books and she sent me over ah, she sent me over a flicker in the dark by um stacy willingham and i'm so grateful and thankful for this because a flicker in the dark is the book club pick for my book club license to throw on fable this is the book we're reading in april so i'm so super excited and blessed and this book looks brand freaking new <gasps> so she sent me over a flicker in the dark as well and last but certainly not freaking least she sent me over the golden couple by gear uh great gear hendrix and sarah pennican i've heard so much about this book like literally so 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 much 
So um, she sent this over. I'm not gonna go into detail about what the books are about, but just know I'm like mind blown. And once I walk my dog and get settled, I'm gonna take some pictures and post them on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and all over because I'm literally so blessed to have received all of these books. So with that being said, y'all, I'm about to um, walk my dog, settle down for the night. Like I told y'all, I am still reading Next to Ken by um miss abdullah and i am liking it but i think i'm going to start reading it on my kindle because i've been reading on my ipad and i'm not really feeling it so i'm going to keep reading that i'll probably finish it and have an update for y'all in my next video but i just wanted to come and unbox these goodies i'm so excited and thank you again for sending them to me kiara and kim i love y'all a real bad all right guys i'm going to end this vlog and i will see y'all in my next video deuces